Hello friends, in this episode we will be talking about GitHub, GitHub desktop and how to use GitHub account to go for creating a repository. So firstly, I am talking everything with respect to a Windows desktop. So you have to go to github desktop for windows you can go for linux or ubuntu or mac or something so github desktop for windows from here you have to download this okay and <coughs> you'll get uh, this github desktop setup.exe after uh, this you will install it so when you launch it so it will look like this but it is looking like this because I have already logged on to it. So this is, I have logged down with my GitHub credentials. Now what are GitHub credentials? If you go to, uh, this is actually when you get uh, to the page. Now when you go to github.com, you will log in from here. If you don't have the account, you create an account so uh, you get a github account now why we need a github account because it is a kind of repository where you go for a versioning control of your softwares and you keep your softwares either publicly or privately you can see here my github handle is Nira Shukla 28 and in this I have some different uh, <coughs> repositories you can see these two repositories they are my own repositories and these three repository i have forked down from existing repository from somewhere else so generally your login to your github account on the web is synchronized with your desktop now what desktop shows the desktop shows the local repository okay so now if I want to create a simple program uh, that means I want to add some uh, more resources to my github repository I'll do that by creating a very simple program okay so what I'll do is I'll go for file new repository I'll name the repository as uh, second hyphen java hyphen program ok this is simple java program ok so where it will reside it will decide in my users my login credentials documents and github okay and if you check this initialize this repository with a readme file so it create a readme default readme file so ignore none license none so i'll go for create a repository So in a very few seconds it will create a repository so I have a repository now now <coughs> in this repository what I'll do is I'll open this repository in the local browsing so you can see here I have this repository now uh, what I'll do I'll create a Java program here so I'll go for new text document and write right here second dot java because already I have one uh, java repository so just uh, you can write anything I am writing second dot java so now I have this second dot java so what I'll do is I'll put some code inside so I have already copied pasted something so I'll put here hello hello second program put okay. here I write hello second program so I'll 
save it save it. okay close it. so in my this second java program repository i have only one simple java program and rest are by default readme and other file okay so if i come back here i find here that i have one new file which i have created here i need to publish it so what i'll do is i'll publish it to the repository publish repository so what will happen is what i'll do is i'll commit to master so i have committed and <coughs> publish repository so i have to uncheck this because keep this code private publish repository so it now it will publish i have overlooked this because if you don't do this it will go for you have to create a private repository which you don't want to show to the public now you can see is it is publishing it so now it is published now if i will go to my github account so you can see here uh, if i refresh this so you have second java program which i have already just now so i click this so you can see this is what you can do is you can edit your readme file if you want to show something about this you can edit this okay now why i am creating this because i am creating a repository on github so that i can exploit this program on jenkins okay now this part i think it is okay to everybody that i have created a github account if you don't have a github account then you uh, go for a dis github desktop on your local machine so that you can sync your uh, uh, development with your github repository on the web okay then what i'll do is i'll now launch jenkins so i already have jenkins so i am in the folder where i have a jenkins.war file if you don't know you see my previous episode where how to install jenkins so i'll go for java python jar jenkins so this will actually launch the jenkins engine okay so when jenkins uh, engine will be launched <coughs> i can open then the jenkins on 8080 localhost then we'll create a freestyle project which will build this my program which i have hello program which i have just made i'll mention it there and it will work. so you can see it is the jenkins engine is coming up and in the meantime it is coming up i'll go to a new page and i'll type local host colon ac the ac and i'll press enter so if the jenkins is not fully uploaded it will show a waiting page otherwise it will show the login page okay so let us see how much it is loaded it has initial started initialization okay 
so you can see here it is showing utility so presently it can be it is exposed to all kind of computers because it is broadcasting on 00, zero. And either you log in with local host or if this machine is connected to any network you can exploit this with the help of the IP address of this machine okay. now what we are going to do we will be creating a Jenkins build a freestyle project and we will execute our Java program under Jenkins okay. so that we will be going to do it is a very simple thing but we will get an idea how to create a freestyle project in Jenkins so it is showing it is listed all plugins because uh, in Jenkins you have many plugins like github plugins you have uh, maven plugins you have uh, gradle and now you can see it is showing Please wait while Jenkins is ready to work. Your browser will reload automatically when Jenkins is ready. So why it is giving? Because all plugins are not yet up. When they will be up here, it will show here. See, now it is showing started all plugins. So in a moment, now this will show you the login folder. have many episodes which which are conceptually talking about Jenkins you can see those episodes and get an idea then you can come on this episode and you can go for and you can see here it's showing Jenkins now fully up and running so when it shows the moment here you have this. so I have an admin account the password also I have kept admin this you can see in my installing Jenkins uh, this thing episode so now we'll get a Jenkins desktop <coughs> and here we'll create a new Jenkins project which will run our Java program with a batch script machine is little sluggish so it is taking time your machine may be not that much sluggish so it will not take that much time in the meantime we can sum up that uh, for the sake of getting repository to Jenkins we have created github account and we have pushed one program as a repository to github from our local repository that is in, in our github desktop and then we are opening Jenkins in order to exploit that program we want to run that program though Jenkins is not made for this very simple silly project but we are getting an idea how it works <coughs> so in a very moment you will be getting a desktop here you are getting a desktop these are some of the projects which are already I have run so what I will do here is I will go to new item and new item I will write here my or we can go that way we will write M is capital my second S is capital second <coughs> second G capital for Java Java program so it is a kind of writing 
my second java program will go for a freestyle project freestyle project means you are manually using the jenkins so you click on freestyle project it will show you okay here click on okay now we have to tell certain things here to jenkins that how we have to build this project okay is taking much time here but uh, okay we can't do much on that so you can see here here what we can do is we can put some description if we like okay and then we have to go down in down here in scm source con code management we we'll type click on git now here we have to mention the git repository so what we'll do is we have our this repository git repository so what we'll do is this is our local repository so we'll copy this path and paste this path here okay so it will take it in a while has taken now the repository branch which we have to build is master by default because we don't have any group of coders who are coding on different branches now <coughs> what we have to do is next we have to add build step so here will go for execute batch command because it is a very simple project so we we'll, i otherwise we could have gone through gradle and or maven something so we'll go for execute batch command here we'll write simple as we compile and run java program so my java program name is second there is one mistake i'll correct it you might have also that will do with git firstly we'll type here g a b a c space second dot java okay then java second okay so you can see this will compile and this will run so now we'll apply You can see it is showing save, then save. So our this thing is ready. So now what we'll do? We'll go back to desktop. Okay. Now there is one mistake which I have just now I have thought of is in our this program second dot Java. <coughs> the class i have to change so what i'll do is i'll edit it in the place of hello world i'll put second now you might have also recognized because it is second dot java so class name should be second so i have changed this save it so now repository certain things have changed so what i'll do is you can see this is changed so you have to commit to master and you have to push everything so locally you have committed and you have pushed so changes are now gone to your this thing your <coughs> there this you can see also so this mistake has taken you to how actually we can work on so this was a mistake okay so but uh, we have uh, corrected the mistake so you can see if you go to second here here second or java if you go inside now you can see that is second okay so that is the beauty here okay now if you come to jenkins my second program is this Okay, what I'll do is 
I go for build now. So this will get build. <coughs> you can see it is building. This is showing the executor status. Only one executor is presently working. So this will get build. It will run. It will fetch the program from uh, GitHub repository because we have mentioned that and then it will run the batch file where we have java c and java so it will show us in <coughs> this uh, jenkins you have many options like you can go for a pipeline build where you can automate your uh, building process and in the next episode i'll tell you how to connect a tomcat server for staging purpose okay that also will go for so it will take a while and it will execute <coughs> same thing you can visually see with the help of blue ocean blue ocean is a visual tool in, in jenkins which uh, runs your different connected things so you can run all these if you want because all these are different uh, <coughs> tasks inside Jenkins so maybe it will take some time so you can see what is happening you can see it here in the command window So we have to wait, we have no options. We have